Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech. Today I'm going to unbox this Nintendo Switch version 2. Not the OLED, not the V1, but the version 2. I know it's a bit old now, but uh, just a reminiscent of this box. So without further ado, let's see what's inside the box here. It says it has one Nintendo Switch console, HSC 001. I'll teach, I'll show you how to differentiate between V1 and V2 later on. And then we have this Joy-Con left neon blue joy con right neon red joy con straps high speed hdmi cable nintendo switch dock joy con grip you see number seven okay and then the nintendo switch ac adapter so this nintendo switch contains 32 gig total system storage part of which is reserved for system data and uh, it also supports a micro sd card but it's not within this box um, a system update is required to use a micro SDXC card. So there's a nod to parents, important to read. Um, also, this SC adapter, the one with the three pin, is only for suitable for Singapore, Malaysia, or even UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Oman, or even Philippines, or even Thailand. Okay. So it's made in China. And then, uh, yeah. So. Very colorful box, very red. It was huge. I remember the OLED one. It's a bit smaller packaging now. Nothing on the back also. Without further ado, let's open this up. So when you open it, you see the Nintendo Switch itself and the Neon Joy-Cons. So it's like this. Then uh, this is the Joy-Con itself left hand blue one and then this is the neon red for the right side so it does say something here on the box when you open it it says so you need to plug it in it does support USB-C on the bottom here as you can see it's a USB-C yep and then all you have to do is just to slide your, your controllers in on both sides and then you can start using. So it's like this. So the micro so the USB C is down here. All you gotta do is just slide this on the left here, like so, and then slide this on the right here, like so, and then you're good to go. Yeah. So what do we have down here? Just a USB C port. And then on the top of the screen here, you get you you have the game card reader, uh, headphone jack, and then air vent here, nothing, and then power 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 uh, power button here, and a volume down and up here. So we have this you know, set L and L here this is the button here and then another button here kind of forgot what these two I think it's reset but uh, yeah and so if you want to swap this out you need to press this button here and pull it out then goes to the one for the neon red yeah and so there is also a stand here for you to like put your console down here if you have your controller you can just play like this and then there's an SD card which I've already inserted one. All right. Let's see what else is inside the box. Then, uh, so we have this, you know, Nintendo dock here. It has a nice rubber fit so that it doesn't glide around when you put it down. Also a bit of a hair, which is which feel good. And it, if you're inside, you can't see, but there's a USB-C attachment there. And then a spring loader. So if you press, if you put your, if you dock your Nintendo Switch in nose, and then the USB C here connects to your switch, and then starts charging. And so this thing you can slide it out for better ma cable management. As you can see here, there's a hole here for you to manage your cables, and then on the inside you can connect the wire, the power source here, which is also a USB C, and then the another USB 3.0 port here and then a HDMI cable so I see a bit of a vent here so maybe this is for some sort of cooling but overall if you put it down there on your TV and then if you put it here it does look very nice yeah 
then you can also and then it's also designed so that you can just slide out your controller also so you will just look like this like this is basically your console let's put that aside here and we have this joycon that attachment so this is when if you put this to your pc and no, sorry if to your tv and then you wanna play it remotely or at least sit away then this is what you do you can just slide your joycon here and then this lights out it's saying this connecting then like so so it acts as a controller yeah it's pretty neat and then if you want to slide it out just press the button this button and just slide it out so overall this is just an empty shell sort of like an empty shell for you to hold comfortably and then if you want to you know play two players you can also use this so basically this is a strap you just put it slide it down there sorry this one you just slide it down there it actually tells you you know this line is for your left controller so then you can play it like this as a player one or player two and then the other player you just need to slide this one in um, this one in and then as you can see there's a plus plus here then you can also start playing like this so pretty cool thing to be honest uh, cool design back then when it was first released in 2017 um, yeah so likewise if you want to release it just slide out but I would recommend you press this button to slide out so that you can slide it back to your controller now the whole thing about this switching thing and the adaptability, the many use case scenario is very cool and that's why the switch was very cool back then. Now the last thing I want to talk about is the HDMI cable. So yeah, this is what you connect to your dock and then you connect to your TV. And here is the AC adapter. Yes, the adapter here. So I'm um, my bad. It's a two pin. It's a bit a big. It's a bit of a half, but you know, not as heavy as those phone chargers that supports like thirty watts or sixty something watt. So you can see a logo Nintendo here, and then you can see this is a USB C. It's pretty long too, so it's definitely adequate. And then finally, you have this micro USB, this USB C to USB A. Pretty cool. And inside the box here i don't think i have much more anymore some should have some manual and warranty and stuff like that yeah and if you so let's go back to the control the switch itself so this is a v2 and uh, the way you can tell is if you read put this up nope oh wait sorry so the way you can tell it's v2 is because of this so you can see this model number so it says hash AC dash zero zero one and then bracket dash zero one. So if we have the bracket then the bracket dash zero one then this is a V2. If you have a V1 then it will only have hash AC dash zero zero one. Yeah? So that's how you differentiate it. And then uh, if you want to power out just press this power button. And then it goes on. And uh, yeah, pretty cool thing. I mean, this is a V2, so uh, the screen is a bit smaller than OLED. I know that the OLED one, I think it's a bit bigger. I mean, much brighter and clearer. Uh, that really improves the user experience, but the V2 will do. Let's say if you want to cut down the cost, and then you're just going to play with the TV. So yeah, there's, there's all, so many choices you can have. And then Nintendo Switch use is like, Definitely less than one thousand ringgit now, so it's it's always a work. It's a good thing. It's very cheap, to be honest. Back then, when it first launched, it was two k or something. Yeah. So the interface, but I have to say, I mean, I use PS Four and Nintendo Switch, and I must say, Nintendo Switch tends to be a bit small, uh, slower. Also, the UI and stuff like that, it's not so fast. Now that's because the chip is already like seven years old in 2024. It was the Nvidia Pascal, you know, the one that powers Nvidia 9000, no, 10, 10 and 8, 
10, 10 series yeah so it was very old already but it still function in support some of so it's quite amazing now this has a screen protector of course it didn't come with it and then uh, you have these two speakers here and I'm pretty sure there's some sort of camera here but I'm not quite sure what it is and yeah yeah and then this is the speaker so of course the screen is 720p not 1080p it does support games in 1080p when you go into docking mode and connect to tv but i guess it's also not all games that can support 1080p given the age of the chip right now so yeah overall very cool use case scenario you know when when nintendo switch first, first came out um, oh, i was always impressed with how you can play around with it you can connect to tv you can connect to console you can take the you can the, the, the joy con you can start it out and then um, share between two players and stuff like that so it was very cool and uh, yeah so that's about it guys this is my quick overview of the nintendo v2 um so that's yeah see you guys next time bye bye